This is insane how much work this is. I have pesto in my teeth. Hi, internet folk. I got an exciting video for you because I can't wait to get started on this. We're going to detail as much as we can of my little sister's new vehicle slash kind of a project. It's a 2001 Nissan Xterra. Up above is a link to the video when she bought it, if you guys want to check that out. Hello, shy one. Hi, I'm amazing. Open. Open. Go, go, gadget nails. <sighs> this giant fabric burrito is a car cover for the gump so when it's pushed out of the garage so i can work on stuff it doesn't get all nasty with bird poop one of you guys a while back sent me this car cover for the mr2 that you had and you weren't using and i liked it so much i looked up the company that made them please don't go anywhere cloth burrito please don't go anywhere ta-da now the Forester's covered up too. And this one is the Stormweave. So it's actually water resistant and good to use in inclement weather. Block it, Noah, block it. Keep Gump safe. I had a serious problem with birds pooping on the cars from the trees out there and getting tree stuff all over it when they're parked out there. And I know some people are gonna say it's just gonna get scratched because of dirt and dust, but that's why you quick wax the vehicle and make sure it's clean and spotless before you put the car cover on there. And I'd rather trade swirls for etched paint from acidic bird poop any day. So thank you, people at California Car Cover for sending this thing out to me. The mission for today is to transform that. So we gotta take your seats out. I'll show you how to do that. Let's get the seats out of there. I just went to the store and grabbed some jugs of distilled water for the steam cleaner to do the puke in the center. This thing right here, hands down, one of the best Amazon purchases I ever made. Having a steam cleaner is super handy. It's been a while since I've done a detailing video on this channel. I used to do them all the time. So just give you a quick rundown. Uh, this little abyssal steam cleaner guy. Got it full of some solution. And basically what I'm gonna do is just kind of spray uh, like a 12 by 12 area, get it nice and wet, and then agitate all the solution into the carpet, especially where the areas where it's stained. And then I'll let that area sit for probably two or three minutes. That way it can soak into the stains. And as that area soaks, I'll move on to another area and start doing that area. There goes that brush. I passed off the cleaning wand to Celine, so she's gonna take over, and I'm gonna start using the steam cleaner now and see what I can get clean with that. I'm curious to see if this is gonna get this soda out of here. Oh yeah, for sure. Look at that. That works so good. I gotta get a rack though.
It got dark out. Oh. This is crazy. It's already 6.30 at night. We spent a good six hours out here and we're only like halfway done. No point in showing you what it looks like just yet because we still got more work to do. And tomorrow. Hi, it's the next day. Some parts arrived today for the Xterra. Ordered a whole bunch of stuff. This right here is a Coilrad dual core radiator. It's actually the radiator for the supercharged 3.3 liter V6 from the Frontier. So, slight upgrade. I'm gonna save all that stuff for another video. Pretty much ordered every replacement maintenance item that this thing would possibly need so that it would be good and reliable. And of course, upgrading the cooling system kind of makes sense because we live in a desert where it's frequently above 100 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever that is in Celsius. There you go, you're welcome, Celsius people. And this bottle is a special blend of chemicals that I made up myself and hopefully won't create fumes that kill me or Celine. And I wanna see if it works any better at extracting this orange dirt from this fabric. You don't like being on camera, do you? No. Why? Oh. I don't even have photos of myself on my Instagram. Why? They're just not there. I've got two, that's it. Okay, so you take over with the carpet cleaning. I'm gonna start doing the detail bits on the dashboard since we got a dry seat over there. And uh, probably gonna end up going over that one more time over there too, I think. I'm like half tempted to try cutting and buffing the paint, but it's so thin, I don't think it's worth it. But still, it's tempting. Are you giving up on the idea of fixing all your fabric and just reupholstering it? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's already almost two o'clock. This is insane how much work this is. I have pesto in my teeth. We just took off the center console real quick to try to get the carpet around it. And the missing logo for the rear door is underneath here. The center armrest is wrapped in a leather vinyl material. So it has all kinds of little creases that get like sweat and dirt trapped into it and it's really tough to clean even the steam cleaner is having trouble getting it all out of all those little crevices so hopefully this brush will help so six Six hours yesterday, or eight hours deep today. Still cleaning, still gotta do the entire back seat, the windows, and some of the interior trim pieces. I found a little trick to get the textured fabric on the sides of the seat clean. I've been using my mystery formula that's in the Simple Green bottle of a couple different chemicals. And uh, I just spray it on there and then use a toothbrush and go in circular motions really fast and scrub the fabric. And then I take my steam cleaner and then I steam it, get it nice and hot, and then I use the carpet cleaner and then spray a little formula and suck it all up. That way I get this, this magical formula off of there as well. Seems to be working pretty good. It's not destroying the fabric, so. I don't know if these are gonna be savable, but we're gonna take our best attempt at saving them. Just gonna let this stuff soak for a little while and see if it will clean it up. The 
inside of the Xterra smells so good it's making the entire garage smell good. And by good I mean a bunch of different chemicals all at the same time that smell pleasant. Hello. It's the next day. The truck's outside. It's been drying with the windows down so it doesn't stink like wet socks. Let's go check it out. The moment of truth. Look at that. Triangles. Dude, that is so much cleaner than it used to be. Other than the steering wheel falling apart, it looks like a truck with 100,000 miles now instead of 260,000. Center console area is nice and clean. Still gotta try to find one of these little cup holder guys that goes inside there. It smells like if you shaved a rug and then made a toupee out of it and stuck it on Mr. Clean's head. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> there was only one casualty that occurred during cleaning and that's this guy got dislocated from the little plastic lever in the back. It's not broken, it's just dislocated. So this has got to come apart so I can fix that. You're probably wondering what about back here? No, we did not detail any of this stuff back here because Celine actually found a company that makes molded rubber flooring that completely replaces all the carpeting as well as the little humps right here for the wheel arches. So she's just gonna get that so it's good to go for overlanding. And I just realized this thing has got two, I think they're subwoofers or they're six by nine speakers in the back. So probably gonna have to do a stereo upgrade on this thing too. I'll just buy the parts since you don't really have this in your budget. <laughs> I love how the X-Terras came from the factory with this little first aid kit and the hump that's in the back door. That's really cute. Can't exactly drive the X-Terra yet because Celine hasn't registered it. So we're gonna do that Monday, tomorrow. Yeah, that's what's up. Ball joints. Everything that she's replacing, for the most part, is either OE or slight upgrade. Those are supposedly slight upgrade. This. Uh, thermostat. Luke, what I have. Luke. Hit. <laughs> These hoes don't know. Hoes. Thermostat housing. It's that French song. Alagasqueta. Da 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 da. Bulb cover gaskets. So nice having someone hold the camera while you take stuff out of a box and not have to dig for a tripod. So, you are going to install all these parts. All right. You didn't even like the flinch. <laughs> I was like waiting for her to be like, wait, what? I thought you were gonna do it. She's just like, all right. Also, don't worry. These guys, as well as the focus outside and yes, teeter tot, are not taking a back seat. It's just, she needs to have a vehicle that's drivable and reliable. So I wanna get this taken care of first real quick, just so I know she's good to go. And then I'm gonna jump back on these project cars. So maybe another couple videos and then we'll be back to regular stuff, okay? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will have maybe a shop update for you soon as well as some more car reviews. I'm really waiting on the shop before I start getting crazy with project car stuff because I desperately need a lift for pretty much everything I need to do next. So, okay, bye.